How's it going, ladies and bruises? up, Bobby Six Killer. Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. It is time for us to hit the Shrine of Judgment and begin the fourth class trial. So strap in for a long ass episode. It's going to get long, and the next one's going to be even longer. Like I said, I called Kokichi being the murderer, but I've been wrong every time so far, so who knows. It looks like that's everyone. Oh, this everyone, huh? There's a lot less of us now. It's plain to see. This is just half of what we started with. Unfortunately. Because we've allowed this game to continue, we must stop it somehow. Right. But we can't stop now. We can't let the fun end. The only other one that makes sense to me is, um, although I don't understand the motive, but Kibo might have been able to do something because he might have classed as a non-human object and been able to move through the wall, same as Mir. And that's why they heard him as well. So. I'm sus of him too. Kokichi and Kibo. Like, the thing is, I don't understand the motive when it comes to Kibo. Kokichi, sure, right? He'll, he'll kill anyone, he doesn't give a shit. Or at least that's how he comes across. Kibo, on the other hand, the opposite. And him and Miyu were real close too. So, I don't know. Well, we can't stop now, we can't let the fun end. Don't. Cut it out, I'm certain this trial will be the last one. Hey. Yeah, I doubt it. Let's focus on surviving this class trial first. I guess. You're right, if we mess up here, our numbers will go down even quicker. It'd just be the culprit left. But... It might be okay. Maybe there's just another way to stop the killing game. If we all die, then the killing game would end. What? Don't say stupid crap like that. It's pointless if we all die. Okay. Well, we don't have to worry. We've got the ultimate detective on our side. Which is why someone should murder us instead. You're right! Yeah, it's time for the detective to shine. Shuichi, please keep up the good work. Okay. Yeah, I'll do my best. Yes, I have to keep it together. This is the only time my talent can shine. I'm not just saving my life. Everyone's life is on the line. If I can't find the truth here, everyone will be sacrificed. And I will never let that happen. Come on, hey, Shuichi, man. you're getting all tense. Huh? What? I mean... Didn't I tell you before? Shuichi, don't carry the burden all... You get it? And didn't I tell you before not to get in the way, Kaito? Huh? Huh? What's your problem? You really don't get We're all relying on Shuichi to carry our asses through this class trial, okay? You're like a parrot repeating the same lines over and over. You're bothering him. Well, you know. I think that's the most annoying thing you can do to Shuichi, you know that? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not... Shut up. Kokichi, you're annoying. Please don't. Whoa, Killer Gill's glaring at me. I was only kidding around. Maki's glare seemed to do the trick as Kokichi turned around, dejected. Finally, that pest is gone. Thanks, Marky Roll. <sighs> Just suck it up, Kaito. Now's not the time to be bickering with each other. Got it. My bad, sorry. Um, Kaito, I'm okay. Hmm? Well, I know what you want to say, Kaito. You don't have to worry. I believe in you. I see. In that case, I believe in you and won't say anything else. Shuichi. But if you have any problems, let me know. I'll help you. I'm here for you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, Kaito. Let's go. I've traded in my coffee for orange juice. I feel like I'm overdoing it with coffee at times. <laughs> That's why I can't sleep until 4am. <laughs> I'm so hyped on caffeine every day. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Uh, okay. Yeah. The eight of us got into the elevator. The door shut behind us. Boom. Here we go. And like all those times before, we descended. It was dead quiet. The only sound I could hear was the beating of my heart in my ears. My body was trembling. The more I tried to control it, the worse it got. There's no way to get used to it, really. The fear of death. We were all fighting it, trying to be courageous. We all felt as though we were going to our own execution. No, not an execution. A test of our will to survive. Finally, the elevator stopped and the doors opened. And though I couldn't explain it, my body stopped trembling. Here we go again. Welcome. Go ahead and stand behind any open podium. 
Move your asses. Uh, you don't want to see what I'll do if you keep father waiting. Huh? Wait, is he back to normal? Why? You're not friend anymore? <laughs> you jerks must feel pretty slick using Monotaro's forgetfulness to befriend him. Nah. He just decided on his own that we were friends. You bastards! I won't let you guys trick Monotaro anymore because he's already forgotten. He may have forgotten that he was on daddy's side. But now he's forgotten that he'd forgotten that he was on daddy's side. Thanks to me, because I smacked the stuffing out of him. Mm. How confusing. Well, whatever. Really? I can't remember, but one of you guys is the culprit, right? I can't be in the same room as a killer, it's dangerous. <coughs> I'm gonna go lock myself in my room. Maybe even set up a barricade. Yeah. That's another death flag. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get started. The heart racing excitement is the black end of the spotless face. Isn't that Monokuma's line? We went to our podiums, as always. We knew what we had to do. There was no protest left in us. Just another day, right? It's already the fourth time. The fourth class trial was about to begin. Miyu Iruma, the ultimate inventor. She may have given us a lot of trouble, but we all miss her. It's a tragedy, after all. She helped me in Kaede with those cameras, gave Kibo extra functions, in the end, she'd done a lot for us. And the culprit that killed her. And she was very amusing to listen to. Is one of us. I need to discover who that is. In order to survive, I have to find the culprit. And I'll fight for it. I will fight with truth and lies in this class trial. The less I have to lie, the better. Usually we only have to lie once. One lie per... Uh, trial. I hope it never gets to more than that, because... I don't like it. Oh yeah. We got those new skills. XX X-ray goggles. One part of an object becomes visible and an entire object can be shown. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Removes the time penalty for breaking a non-erasable piece. Effective during a Oh, that's pretty handy. Like always. I'll take it. Yeah. Because I always smash non-breakable pieces. <laughs> Makes it easier to push the opponent back. Spacebook. Reduce the shock when... Oh, no. Nah. Scrum. That's pretty handy. Let's take Saint Miko's ability as well. We got loads of points, we might as well spend them. Oh, we're... You know? We got two... We only got two skill points left. I mean, I'm not usually too bothered. We can usually get by without them, but, you know, why not make it easier if we can, right? I mean, we're befriending people, basically, to get those skills. <laughs> might as well use them. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. We already know, dude. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. Good. You need more motivation. I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Before we start, I just want to ask something since there's not a lot of us left. What happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like a tie? It means they're both the black end, as long as one of them is correct. It's fine. Daddy, are you sure you should make a decision like that so casually? Do they both get executed, or just the just the actual correct black end? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Till he dies. Just ignore Kokichi. The rest of us need to work together to find the truth. Let's do it. Got it! We can't die here! I'm starting to like Himiko now that... Well, now that Angie and Tenko are dead, I suppose. That really, like, gave her a boost. Oh my! Himiko has become so determined! It's true! People really do change! But now she's lost what made her so unique. That's now you've taken Himiko's. Now, Monokum is like Himiko. We should focus on the class trial. First, we need to clarify... Kaito's the culprit! What? Say that to my face! I doubt that. 
While we were all still logged in, Kaito logged out alone, right? He was forced out. You were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean you could have committed the murder? He could have, but it's very unlikely. Don't screw around. There's no way I'm the culprit. It's just too obvious as well. Kaito, right? Kaito couldn't have killed Mew. Nah. How long are you gonna keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. Yeah, I just don't see it. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. Since Kaede. The fact that Kaito was the only one logged out is suspicious. But he's not the culprit, he can't be. I agree. It's highly unlikely. Hit me. Monokuma File 4, Kaito's account, we need to look at that. Small Kaito bottle of poison, killing himself. game simulator hammer. What does Kaito's account say? Kaito was the only one logged out of the oh yeah, of course, out of the virtual world while he was looking for the secret of the outside world. On the mansion's rooftop, a ring of light appeared around his feet and he was suddenly logged out against his will. And then he went to sleep. Mew was still logged in though. Yes. That's when he poisoned her, right, Kaito? Kaito culprit? Impossible! Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it! Bottle of poison. I mean, the bottle of poison was on bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat, didn't we? Yes. The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? What do you mean, last words? You need to decide if Mia was killed in the real world or virtual world. Yes, that's where the problem lies. He was definitely in the virtual world. Mew was still logged in, though. That's when you poisoned her. No. That's wrong. Mew wasn't killed by poison, and the warning on the label proves it. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. Her eyes would have been bloodshot and shit. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. And they weren't. Oh, but Mew's body. Mm. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. It looked like she was choked. By the way, she's grabbing at her throat. I guess it could be acid poison or poison for? that was burning. I don't know. Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. The culprit wanted us to think specifically that Kaito poisoned her. That's why they logged Kaito out and then hid the poison there. Then, what was her real cause of death? Mew's real cause of death. Is there any one thing I can think of? Ah, oh, shit, I don't know. Hammer? How much have we got? We got a, we got a, we got a minute. Objects can't break. Avatars cannot be injured. However, the body's five senses connected to the avatar. If an avatar takes fatal, fatal damage, then the real body will also die. That's what it, that's what you want, this right? She took fatal damage in the game, so she died in real life. The killing game simulator itself. In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made clear in the program's text file. Yep. Miyu received fatal damage in the virtual world and died from that shock. In that case, it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Oh, well, the simulator killed her physical body. Sure. Where is this virtual world place? What floor is it on? You can just go sit in the corner. You don't need to if you participate. Don't understand, it's fine. Then don't say anything. That was a bit mean. If Mew was killed in the virtual <laughs> I mean, that's what world, I said, but still. Then the next thing we need to figure out is what caused her to incur fatal damage within the virtual world. Like, like I said, it looks like she was strangled. Chart. So her cause of death in the virtual world or is the one that matters. Something like that. Uh, um, Asphyxiated? Maybe her head was dunked in the river? I don't know. Uh, and she drowned? It seems like Gonte is confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um, so we split into two groups to find the secret of the outside world. We did it that. The ones who searched the mansion were me, Shuichi, Samugi, Gonta, and... 
That NPC Kaito. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? <laughs> and the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Himiko, and the late Mew. How could someone have given her fatal damage in that situation? That's what we gotta think about. Now, let's all work together. Aww, little Himiko is all grown up. Too bad your chest hasn't grown up, though. That was uncalled for! Someday, my chest will grow like crazy! Let's begin, then. The fatal damage that Mia received in the virtual world. Let's pin that down. Right, here we go. In the virtual world, Miu was fatally injured. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Got it. Whatever did that to Miu was dropped right next to her avatar. It has to be the hammer! Nah. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. No. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? Yeah, I don't think so. I think strangulation is more. Unlikely. I agree. Shit. Me's corpse. Me's corpse. I agree. Looks like she was strangled. Hard out. Mew's body showed severe trauma and signs of a struggle. Yeah. She looked like she suffered. Very hard to look at. Agreed. We were BFFs with her. <laughs> and the virtual world is connected to our five senses. If her body experienced pain, she must have been in pain in the virtual world as well. Knowing that, I believe Maki is correct. Mew was strangled to death. I agree. Yeah, definitely. Strangling and poison are the only methods that can make her look like she's suffocated. Yeah. Stuffing something down her throat. Poison. Strangle. Drowning. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Maybe they dunked her in the river, although she said you can't enter the river, so I guess not. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest or mouth. But Mew was holding her throat. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. Oh, the assassin master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. She knows corpses, man. In that case, her exact cause of death is being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? If the avatars were equally strong, it would be difficult to strangle a resisting victim. Yeah, if she was just as strong as them, no way they could have strangled her. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Right, yeah. Wow, you know a lot about killing, nerd. <laughs> Random. But was there even a rope in that world? I don't remember seeing one. No. Then they must have used something else as a rope. Something for a rope, huh? I have an idea of what that might be. I found it during the investigation. Uh, well, I don't know. We got a minute, so let's uh, see what we can find. Toilet paper? It has to be toilet paper. I mean, that does make sense because it is an object. And she said objects can't break, which means even though toilet paper is normally fragile, in this instance, it's not. This is it! It's strong, like it's unbreakable. You wouldn't Doing be able to wipe your ass with it anyway. <laughs> found toilet paper outside the mansion. Is this toilet paper? What would toilet paper be doing here? I'm guessing that the toilet paper was used to strangle her. Gonta, no can ignore that! Gonta? What? What you mean, Shuichi? Huh? What's wrong? What wrong? Shuichi goofing off! Not gentlemanly at all! Road? <laughs> you wanna fight about it? Let's go in the virtual world and fight about it. Because you're not as strong there. Please don't hit me. It's no time for nonsense! 
Nonsense, how dare you? can use toilet paper in place of rope. Would tear too easy. No, it wouldn't. Killing game simulator. The rules say that it can't break. You ass. Please don't get in the conversation when you don't know what you're talking about. Wouldn't tear. Because in a virtual world, objects are unbreakable. Unless the toilet boat was marked as fucking human. Breakable? <laughs> you're so dumb, Gonta. You didn't even know that? If objects can't break in that world, then toilet paper shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. Or anything, yeah. Going to not really understand, but... Sorry, Shubichi. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. Don't worry about it. Killed by toilet Just stop trying to help. Paper. It was... Fitting end for her. That's fucking ruthless, but... Fair, yeah. <laughs> fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. <laughs> but if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? That's really the tricky part. There's some way between... Oh. That... Because that... Yeah. The extra wall she added that she could pass through. That I think Kibo could pass... I... Kibo is definitely the killer. I'm calling it now. I know I said... I know I said fucking... Um... Kokichi. But I'm calling it now. It's Kibo. It's gotta be. It's the only one that makes sense in my head. How it could happen. You know, and he didn't understand the toilet paper. When he saw the toilet paper, he was like, oh, maybe someone needed to come out here and take a shit. And he's like, you don't need to take a shit in this world. And he's like, I didn't know that. And then he ran away. And he's like, oh, shit. I made a mistake leaving the toilet paper around here. Just thought I'd explain it away that someone needed to take a shit outside. No. Kibo. Kibo, how could you? And why? <laughs> maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. Ass. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. It was a much better place they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? You can't destroy it. Nothing's destroyed. You just said yourself that it's not destroyable. Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No, Mio had to bring the hammer. No, but who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? We already know who brought the hammer. Mio, she's the only one. That's it. She programmed what was going to be here and what wasn't. Mew was the one who brought the hammer. She left the hammer in on purpose. Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. No. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? Indeed. But why she do that? Maybe she's planning to kill someone? Maybe she just wanted to defend herself in case someone was coming for Maybe she knew someone was coming for her. I don't know. Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? She was going to kill Kokichi. Need to make that clear. I feel like that was the plan. That's why they were going to meet up. Mew and Kokichi's meeting, Let's yeah. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. They were gonna kill- she was gonna kill him. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? Uses for a hammer. Gonta no! Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! Yeah, maybe. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Yeah, that's a possibility as well. secretly met up with someone. Wait. And tried to kill them with it! Let's assume yes. this. She was. I agree. I agree with Kokichi, uh, which is unusual. But, um. Oh, come on! Oh, I hit it. I thought I missed again. <laughs> My aim is so bad at this. That's why I gotta slow everything down now. Never used to use Farkas. Mm hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. Uh-huh. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. 
Wait, so Miu called Kokichi out? If Miu brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. She's gonna kill you with it, stupid. Kokichi's already figured it out. She was planning to kill Kokichi. That's it. She was trying to kill Kokichi. Mm hmm She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. That's a brutal way to kill someone. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sure if I analyze the clues we found, I can figure something out. Alright, let's do it. Psych Taxi! Yes! I love Psych Taxi! It's my favorite. This is my favorite new mode, definitely. Oh, we only get one lame -o. Oh, we got a fuel meter. Can we actually run out of fuel? I feel like probably not. Come on, hit so. Yes! It's actually pretty wicked, man. I drive this in real life. It's pretty cool. Tried to kill Kokichi? Who tried to kill Ko We already know the answer to that if that's what that says. Yeah, who tried to kill Ko Miu? I didn't, she didn't try, she was planning to. She never got the chance. She never got the opportunity. I can understand her wanting to kill Kokichi. I can totally get, with, get behind that sentiment to be honest. Anyway. Yeah, me. Right up the middle. Cool. Oh, we're going into the city. It's very nice. Not bad, not bad. What we got? What was Mew... Where was Mew trying to kill Kokichi? In the virtual world? Obviously. The afterlife? Why is there a joke answer? We don't need joke answers. Good. Man, we need a bigger car. <laughs> we could fit more escorts in the car if it was bigger. <laughs> we need a bus. We can trade in the taxi for a bus. These wireframe cars are very cool. I want to drive one of those. They don't have much substance, so you can see through them. It's a bit worrying. I wouldn't feel safe inside a see-through car, I don't think. It's like being in a glass bottom boat, right? We're going to the top of one of those towers that has the has the glass floor that you can look through at the street below. Sounds fucking terrifying, and I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> but that does not sound like a good time. I'm not afraid of heights, but I am not into recklessness. Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? I presumably Miyu put it there instead of Kokichi putting it there. Miyu put it there. So that when she killed him with the hammer, we would think that he was killed in the real world. To divert attention. The poison was part of Miu's plan to kill Kokichi, not the plan to kill Miu. Makes sense. Makes sense. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. Mm. She did that too? I'd say so. What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. She went in last though, right? We need to look at the login log out record again. 
Yeah, login logout record. When could Mew have put the poison? Hang on, we need to look at that. Yeah, Mew was the last one to log in. So you could have put it in after everybody else is logged in. There. If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. No, because she was the last one to log in. And then what? She logged back in? Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have... <laughs> That's wrong! She was the last one in. She could have placed the poison, then logged in. Easy. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. Absolutely. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. She's quite far behind everyone else. Is this three minutes? Record of who went in and out of the virtual world? That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. And that's why she knocked the yeah. What the about plank it? away? So that she knocked the the bridge away, so that she could get to Kokichi to kill him. But it would also eliminate her from the list of suspects. If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. Yep. That right. She could have placed poison bottle on Kokichi's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. Mm -hmm. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Yeah. Well, that's not my fault. No, no, but she tried to pin it on you. That's why she logged you out. Which is why she manually logged you out, just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. Yep. Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Miu log Kaito out with the cell phone? Do we have the cell phone? This is it! It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Now he's pissed off. <laughs> Kaito Momota. Bottomless mimosas. He logged out, just as I thought. <laughs> I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. She was like God in there. But Mew never mentioned she still died the cell phone, though. right? <laughs> That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So... She really was planning a murder. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling. And she tried to set me up. That much was obvious. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. <laughs> huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I don't know, man. Go back to sleep. I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. No, Mommy's dead, remember? Huh? Mommy? <laughs> My head! I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. I mean, he's just like me. Monotaro, pull yourself together! I'm pretty much exactly like Monotaro. Anywho... It's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. He's got like dementia. That's what I feel like I have half the time. <laughs> what you mean? Cause she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. Right. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Like a god, yeah. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we go into the virtual world was... So she could kill. You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet. 
Well, once you go, you'll understand. Seriously, it's so fucking awesome. I know you guys will love it. And then you're going to fall in love with me for showing it to you guys. So let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together. She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. Not you. Only Kokichi. Nobody cares if they kill Kokichi. I was sad that she was gone, <laughs> but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. Well, that's true. She was going to kill everyone, because if she killed someone and then got away with it, everyone would die. See? That's an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey. Kokichi sort of sound like Monokuma. Oh, yeah. Very much. Hmm? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. It was have been, though. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. <laughs> Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma. Daddy, they're calling you a coward. Aren't you going to do something? Yeah, yeah, I just got to do my signature laugh, right? <laughs> He's completely lost his drive, like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame. <laughs> my head. Listen up, Kokichi. You're all falling apart out there. To hell with this game of suspicion crap. I will never be okay with it. I'm just gonna believe in everyone. Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them. Well. If you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. It has been a while since we've done any deducting. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mio. Yeah, you said that. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I the tried was to locked. go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. Good point, Himiko. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. I remember. You and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you. Hmm. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Unless you're the killer. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Plus, you like to fuck us thus even if it means you're gonna die with everyone else. Oh, mm-hmm. I see. I didn't realize that. You're fucking with us is your specialty. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell! <laughs> Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Okay. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. The lettuce. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi mm. claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. She walked through the wall. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. She did that on purpose to dissuade suspicion. Whoops, my hand slipped. If that's the case, then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. She was going there to kill you, dipshit. 
It's true. First we need to determine if Mia was actually there or not. Did she go? Or was she never on the roof at all? Alright, here we go. Finally back into the debates. What do we got? Samugi's account, loud noise, Mia's corpse, Kokichi in the Mew salon. Waiting for me to arrive. Sitting on Kokichi's sure avatar. On the rooftop. Sitting on Kokichi's avatar? What was that? Need to have a look at that. <clears throat> Kokichi's avatar had a special setting. If Mew touched him, he'd be unable to move. Right. More later by Mew, that's important. Mew's corpse, yeah. What else do we have? There was um, Samugi's account. While Samugi was searching for the secret of the outside world in the virtual world's mansion, she saw Mia's avatar through the window. That's important. But the mansion? No. Mia should have been at the. This one. This one. Jesus. Sorry, I panicked. She wasn't. Samugi saw her. Thought she saw her. She saw her. Absolutely. Mia must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah. When I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? Because she didn't know for sure. Sorry. I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then, how did she get to the mansion from the chapel? There must have been some Elementary. special method only Mew knew. Like yeah. with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. Yep. She would be off the suspect list. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? She walked through the wall. It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. It was pretty easy to figure out, no to be worries, honest. guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. That's what you've been doing up till now. This class trial At least in the trial. Us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! <laughs> I don't have time to deal with Kikichi. Right now I need to focus on the case. I'm positive that Miyu used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay, I just have to figure out what it was. This is easy. We know exactly what it was. What do we got? Monokuma file 4, log in, log out, Kikichi in the salon. Wall added by Miyu, and what was the last one? Setting on Kikichi's set down. Wall. The wall. Not a bridge. Instead of bridge? You use some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Mm -hmm. Or she used a warp zone. She said there was no warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden route that only Yes, a hidden route. I agree. Not only me though, I assume Kiva would That's have been able to cross Kiva? too. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. That's why I assume, that's why I'm looking at him as the main culprit, because he could definitely use it too. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified Look the nervous to thing. add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. They're the same wall, aren't they? We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi! What? Mm hmm? What is it, Kaito? Jeez, you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious. But it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. It's got everything to do with it. What the hell are you talking about, Kaito? To do with it. Huh. You don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Go on and enlighten Hello, me, smartass. Sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. <laughs> enlighten me. What we gotta figure out? 
is how Mew got from the chapel to the men. So why waste time yes. talking about the impossible? It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. No, what wait are you just talking a about? It's not actually impossible at all. No. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. She is as far as the game's concerned. The game thinks she's an object and that's all that matters. The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. And so could the sign that we used as a bridge, which went through the wall as well, when it went around the river. <laughs> Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you, the more you try, the more you cause us trouble. Oh, come on. Please knock it off, Kokichi. It's so totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi. Please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. So I'm trying to piss people off. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? Yeah. That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. She no-clipped her way through this shit. <laughs> I thought Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world. Real, literally. Past the wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. I believe that the x-axis wraps there around. There no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. Mew lied. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you no know have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! M Monotaro! Listen to you, talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying! There was no hidden route in that virtual world! Oh... Oh... There wasn't, huh? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh! If you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. Oh, shoot! That's true. Ah, oh, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. You're, they're also lucky that you can't be bothered right now. Was Kokichi saying all that stuff about Miyu to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know to get a rise out of people. Root, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. It's true. Miyu wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. Maybe it's where she left the hammer and shit. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... A mystery of... virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. Fair enough. Alright, let's clear up those strange occurrences. You on then? Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. Please don't help, Gonta. Speaking of strange occurrences, <laughs> I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The big noise, like someone, you know, stomping on a board that 
make someone lift up and smash their head into a sickle on a, a large iron cage with a dog on top of it. The events that lend us there. Uh, where are we? Loud noise. There it is. This the is noise. It. That's why we notice shit. That's why we went running outside. Because you of the noise. The loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen. Oh, and Kibo's voice, of course. That's gonna be the lattice, right? It's so loud. What? What was that sound? It sounds as if something was struck very hard and it came from outside. But mm -hmm. you all heard that sound too. Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. I'm calling it. The whole world wraps around like that. That two, those two walls are just one wall where it joins at the back, and she just walked through that. Kibo's voice, yeah, yeah. You heard my voice too. What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Definitely. Okay. Well, let's check the answers later, and try to find all the other clues first. We didn't hear the sound through the loading screen, we heard the sound through the wall. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! Sorry. I'm going to not mean it like that. <laughs> oh, he's suckering no you again. to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? I don't know what you're talking about. Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like me in the mansion or that loud noise. We don't remember everything else that happened in there. Mind mine. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess we're about to find out. We just need to see all the objects, and then we'll know which object to pick, right? In theory. There's no objects over there. Oh, the sign, of course! You're talking about the sign in the river, right? Um. That one. Because it went round and then it came back round. That's why I think it loops. Everything loops. Life is like a circle. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? Because it flowed against the tide. Well, it didn't really. It flowed with the tide right round and then back. We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. We found it later. But there was something unnatural about it. Found the, finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused by how the sign got there. I have to remember exactly what happened with that sign. Alright, here we go. Yeah, psych taxi again. Dude, we get to do two psych taxis in a single go? That's badass. I love the psych taxi. Oh yeah, I forgot to accelerate. Oh, it's moving now? That's a bit harder. Do we can take these corners at 200k an hour? That's crazy, man. This taxi does 200k an hour. It's pretty quick. It's pretty nippy for a taxi. <laughs> I feel like cornering at 200k an hour wouldn't wouldn't feel very safe. At which point was the signboard swept away? The bridge. In the river. You know that. When fucking Miu kicked it away. What are the options? Mansion River Chapel. The river, in the river. You couldn't get swept away by the chapel. You fucking weirdo. <laughs> oh, you mean where it ended up, maybe. Or where it started and where it ended up. 
started the bridge ended up on the mansion side but the uh but the current should have taken it chapel side that's the big fucking mystery but my whole looping world theory uh, alleviates that problem speaking of um car driving we got a new Forza Horizon game coming out soon, so we should probably do that on the channel. We did four. That was pretty good. Did enjoy covering that on the channel. So, that might be cool. Where is the end of the river? Let me know what you think about that anyway, if you're, if you're interested. It's totally different to what we're doing right now. I'm aware of that. Where is the end of the river? The end is by the chapel. But it has two starts. Because it's got two rivers that join together into into one, on the chapel side. Oh my god! Everything's moving so quickly. But it's not much of a time limit, so it's not that big a deal, really, is it? You got like a ten-minute time limit for this. I don't know how you could possibly take that long. Where was the signboard found after it was swept away? Uh, by the mansion. Transition point? It's mansion slab. What does transition point mean? Where the two things join? I guess. We got four phases now. Oh shit. You take damage out there? Didn't know that. Gets pretty narrow, man. <laughs> oh, that was so good. And then it and then it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Two for the price of one, and then zero for the price of one. Oh no, I hit a car. That like fully stops your ass. If I drive really slow, it's easy to pick up more. It's kind of boring though. <laughs> Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? Well, I mean... Assuming it's the same as the real world, it flowed against the current. But obviously, I don't believe that it did. But that's what it looks like. But she said that the physics are exactly the same as in real life, so it obviously didn't flow against the current, because that is not physics, bro. <laughs> I need more drink. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? But if it goes all the way around, then that's a secret entrance, a secret path that Monotaro said didn't exist. It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that wall is the one that you can go through because it's an object, you asshole. But that's not where we found it. <laughs> We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Specifically on the left hand side of the rocks as well. The signboard should have been near the chapel, but we found it on the other side. Hold up! Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. Okay, All okay, the let's do it. things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect yes. How? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. 
How are they all connected? The sound, the signboard, and the Miu all went through that wall which wraps around to the other side. <laughs> Simple. I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. It's the true. only one who can solve <laughs> this mystery and save us all is you. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? You're playing uh, us, aren't you? Well, what we know so far is that... Kakichi's okay, playing us somehow. The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. Yes. Um... Yeah, of course it is. It's the wall that she traveled through, that all objects can travel through. The wall added by me. This is it! It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. Well, duh. That wall. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? Doesn't that seem obvious? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall but end up on the mansion side? What would explain that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. What? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Okay. I don't have How any anyway. What even mean? <laughs> Kokichi might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river, downstream and upstream connect. That's it. Does that mean I have no common sense? The river were that it was obvious to me. <laughs> Both ends of river connected. Yeah. Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. It's all part of one big loop. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Yeah, it's not two walls. It's one wall. It's the same wall. You're just looking at it from both sides. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again... Throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. It is the same wall. It's the same wall. <laughs> right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall. Am I super smart? <laughs> or are they fucking idiots? What the hell's going on here? It wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. <laughs> Some of them are so hard, but this is so obvious. I got it. <laughs> I know why Mew only set up one wall. What are you talking about now? Although I still don't know who the culprit is. I'm still going to blame Kibo. The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls are the same wall. That's it. The walls by the chapel and the mansion aren't separate. They're the same wall the same wall it's not just the river the walls themselves are connected don't think of it as two separate walls but a single wall parallel to the y-axis think of it as a toilet roll universe <laughs> that single wall divides the entire virtual world The idea is, you pass through the wall by the chapel, and come out by the mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. Literally. See, didn't I tell you? 
Everything is connected. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. Shh. It's okay. It's more importantly, this Shh. is the final stretch. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? That it's a toilet roll. The secret, huh? Is that the secret? I suppose we should clear that up. We need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. I'm not good at anagrams, I hate this bit. Toilet roll. T-O-I-L-E. Damn, that's not right. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Loop. Loop. Oh, loop. Loops. Loop. No. Fudge. I see. World loops. Virtual world loops on itself, around and around, and yes, around. That's it. The virtual world is a loop. Loop. Just like in old games, right? Like, for example, when a character goes off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Is that why I know? Because I'm old. <laughs> yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. The virtual world loops? What in the world? The loop. If that's true, <laughs> it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. It vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. Yes. Yes, I think we're satisfied with that now. And floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? Actually, the alert. there wasn't a wall on the Y axis at all, and the X axis was set to loop. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? What's crazy about it? A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. Okay. Well, at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Yes. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Doesn't explain who the killer is. Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. We heard it through the wall. And Kibo's an object. I'm, I'm sure he's seen it as an object. Because he's not human. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yes. But first we need to be clear where the loop starts. Where starts at the loading starts? point. Presumably. The Doesn't loop starts at the, the loading walls point. Next to the mansion and chapel? Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... Starts at the loading point. There. The map loading point was where the virtual world looped. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. Look, you can even see that the yeah the but cliff the faces line up perfectly. Actually, at the edges. So the wall you created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather, her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. Look, the roads connect perfectly, the cliff faces line up perfectly, the everything. only allows non-humans to pass through, so sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right! That's how the virtual world works! Non-humans, yeah, Kivo. Non-humans. <laughs> 
Impressive, Shuichi. Calm down, Dave. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. You are useful indeed. Why, thank you. For you to get this far. What are you, some villain pulling the strings? Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center, which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. We're not saved yet. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. That's how a class trial works, after all. Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. <laughs> no matter what you say, I'm not going to believe your lies. I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. Except Kokichi. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. Me neither, actually. <laughs> what is Kokichi's plan here? He's definitely prodding at Kaito on purpose. He does that, though. There's no time for distractions like him. All we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. It doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve, if we can't find the culprit, it'll all be for nothing. But still, I don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill? Who killed Mew? Time for us to wrap this episode up, and we will find out in the next one, I suppose. But um, I still got my money on Kibo. For the obvious reasons that, you know, he could pass through the wall when no one else could. Oh, and me you could. But, you know. But we'll see, I guess. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll find out in the next one. <laughs>